Good morning, everybody. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of an extra um, on dividing with remainders. So in school, we've been looking at how to divide and leave our answer as a remainder. But then we've also started to look at, well, how do we leave that as a fraction or how do we leave that as a decimal as well? OK, so I want to look at an example from yesterday's sheet when you're dividing with remainders and then we'll have a little look at one from today's sheet as well so then you can use both to try and help you work through each of the answers. So for example if we looked at yesterday's Let's Explore, so let, yesterday's Let's Explore was dividing 585 by lots of different numbers and you were sharing between different numbers of friends. So we had 585 and we were dividing by six. Now we know straight away that six isn't going to be a, um, e an equal divisor for 585 because we know that all numbers in our six times tables are even. So how many sixes are in 585? Well, we've got to begin with, we're going to look at 58 as the first dividend and we know that 58 represents 580. So how many sixes are in 58? So I'll need to count up in my sixes. Well, I know that six times by 10 is 60. So I can subtract one. So it must mean that there are nine sixes in 58 because six times 10 is 60 and that would give me 10 lots. So nine times by six is going to be six less than 60. Six less than 60 is 54. So it means I have four left over. And then it's how many sixes are in 45? So count in my sixes again. Well, I can go as far as 30. I know that six times by five is 30. Six times by six is 36. Then I've got 42. So I've got, there are seven sixes in 45 with three left over. And I can either have remained a three there. So that's one way of answering your question. 97 remained a three. But in year six, we need to look at how we can leave that answer as a decimal. There are two ways of finding the decimal. With a question like this, it's easier to go and uh, it's easier to start with the fraction. So three over six is what that rep that remainder actually represents. Remainder three is saying that I've got three sixths left over. I'm working in six because I was dividing by six at the beginning. So 97 and three sixths. Three sixths is the same as one half. I know that one half as a fraction is the same as 0 0.5 as a decimal. So my final answer is 97.5. Another way if I was unsure on the fraction, so 97.5, if I was unsure on, on how to work out my decimal as a fraction, I can carry on my thinking by putting a decimal point here and extending my dividend. So I'm now going to go in the tenths column. And with my remainder, which was here, and it was remainder three, I'm going to put my three here. And I'm now saying that I've got 30 tenths. At three tenths, sorry, which gets me at 30 tenths in my tenths column. This would be my hundreds and my thousands. So like here, we would say I've got 45 ones. Well, here, three and zero, 30 tenths. And I'm saying how many equal groups of six tenths can I get from 30 tenths? And I would get five. So I've got the same as what I got before, which was 97.5, but this time I've looked at the tenths column. Now, once we understand that as 30 tenths, what you might find yourself saying is, how many sixes go into 30? It's five. But remembering that that's in the tenths column, so that's the language we need to be using. Now, in today's maths questions, it's very similar understanding. We're using um, this method to be able to try and find decimals. Now, when you get a fraction that you're quite confident with, one half or three quarters, one third, for example, it's easy to find the decimal. But there are some questions where we won't get that easy fraction. So let's do one of those together. So we'll take this from the Let's Explore on today's lesson. So we had 382 divided by 11. Now this comes with the added challenge that we're dividing by a two digit number. So we're going to use long division. So it's a nice reminder of how to use long division and how to find remainders. So 
32 divided by 11. So I might say, well, how, I'm going to look at that 83 to begin with as my first dividend, the 830. How many 11s are in 83? Well, I know that 11 times by 7 is 77. So it's 7, and I'm going to put my closest multiple underneath, which is 77 or 770. The difference between these two numbers is 6. And then I'm left with the last part of my dividend, which is 62. If I want to check that I've worked out my dividends correctly, I've got my whole here, which is 832. I first split it into 770, then I split it into 600, uh, sorry, 62. And I know that when I add those two numbers together, I should get the total 832. So I'm, I'm now saying to myself, how many 11s go into 62? Well, again, I know that 11 times by five is 55. So I've got five 11s in 62. My closest multiple is 55. And I'm left with working out the difference between those again. The difference between 55 and 62 is seven. So I could leave my answer as 75 remains a seven. But then, using what our learning from before, we want to think, well, how can I leave that as a decimal? Now, straight away, that would become 7 elevenths. Well, 7 elevenths isn't something that we'll be able to convert to a decimal as quickly as what we could do earlier when it was 3 sixths. So we need to look at the same technique as what we used the second time. So I'm going to put my decimal point here and my zero. And my 7 remains a 7, now becomes my 70 tenths in this first column here. And I'm dividing this by 11. How many equal groups of 11 tenths can I get from 70 tenths? How many 11s are in 70? Well, that's 6, because 11 times by 11, uh, sorry, 11 times by 6 is 66, with 4 left over. So I could put my 4 here now. And it continues, except this time I'm in the hundreds column. How many equal groups of 11 hundredths can I get from 40 hundredths? Or how many 11s are in 40? Well, that would be 3, because 11 times by 3 is 33, with 7 left over. Now, as you can see, we're starting to repeat ourselves 70, 40, 70. So we're going to stop because we now know that our decimal is going to keep going and going. And we can give our final answer as 75.6.